Hey guys, it's Julianne and I'm an ECD ATB coach. In today's video, we're going to be creating our own bingo game. We're going to do alphabet bingo. So first we need to make our bingo card. So to start out here, I have a sheet of paper and we're going to pick through a few letters and we're going to make rows. So on the top we can write bingo and then we're going to maybe do four rows and then we'll do maybe four going down as well. So we're going to write as many letters as we can think of, change it up a bit, and maybe we'll make two sets of cards. Okay, so after creating my bingo card, this is what we have. So we have four boxes going across and four boxes going down. So to involve your child children with this, what you can do is, let's say we want to start out with the letter... Let's start out with the letter N up here. So we can trace... To have them get involved, you can trace all the letters that you want in your boxes. So we want an N there. Let's do a W here. Maybe a P here. And we'll do an A here. So we're gonna do this all down and across, and then you can have your child trace them either with the same marker or different. Okay, so after I have traced all my letters onto my bingo sheet, we are now going to trace them. So you can go over with your child the proper way or the right way to trace each letter. So from stopping, starting from the top and going down, And we're going to trace through all of these letters. So maybe if your child is having trouble with a certain letter, you can, on another sheet of paper, write out that letter a few times and they can practice tracing it. Okay, so after tracing out all of our letters, we are ready to start playing bingo. So you can play this with a few different kids or you can even play it by yourself. So we're gonna play it by yourself today and we're using some of these Lego pieces as our tokens. So what we can do is either way, we can either call out the letter. So if we say, if you have an O, oh, we have an O right here. So we'll put that down. Or you can even, for older kids, you can say like apple. And then they have to think, oh, what, what letter starts with apple? So then they would say, oh, A. So then they would put down on here. So for now, we're going to be playing either straight, straight across or up and down. We're not gonna be playing like this. We would need another row or so to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. So we'll do the first round, we'll say the letters. So if you have a Q, if you have an F, so we look around, it doesn't look like we have an F. If you have an M, so looks like we have an M here, an S, doesn't look like we have an S. An N. A D. A P. So also another thing is if they don't hear what you say, you can say P as in park. Or you can say D as in dog. Or any, any sort of thing like that. And to finish it off, W. So there we would have bingo, because we have it straight across. So if we play the other way now, and we say something that starts with that letter, so we just say a word. Let's say zebra. So we look around, zzz, that's the sound that it makes. And you think, what letter makes that sound? And we Z for zebra. What about octopus? So ah, 
makes the O sound. So you can do maybe animals as a category or food, or you can just do things in general that start with that. So since we're sticking to animals for now, let's just try that. So what about dog? We have D for dog. What about a fish? So it sounds like an F, but it doesn't look like we have an F. What about pig? So P, P, P for pig. What about, let's see. Let's do cat. So K, K. C for cat. So what about jaguar? So J, J starts with J, but it doesn't look like we have a J anywhere. What about kangaroo? So kangaroo, K, K. So some children might get confused and think that K, K sound is for the C, but kangaroo starts with the letter K and it doesn't look like we have a K anywhere. Let's think of another one. Gorilla. G for gorilla. All right, so we pl kept playing this game and we got a bingo straight down. One, two, three, four. So you can play this with different categories like we did with animals or you can do it with anything. You can do it by just using the letter. You can do any sort of thing that will just help with recognizing the letters and their sounds. So this is a great game to play with kids of all ages. It's especially good for preschool age kids or kindergarten or first grade just to work on their letters especially and the fact that they get to trace it and actually make their cards as well is a bonus.